Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a short video on how to make a smooth spinning prop with verse code. There's many ways to do this and this is just one of my favorite ways of doing it so I thought I would share it with you. So I have a bunch of stuff in the scene but the only things that apply for this are this statue which is my prop and my verse device and my prop is paired with my verse device. Then I also have a float value that's called speed factor and that's also set to add editable. If we take a look at what this looks like, it's pretty cool. Come over here and there it is spinning. And I don't know if there's any lag time on the over the internet or whatever, but it actually, once it gets going, it's actually spinning. It seems like it needs to get warmed up or something, but, but right now at the moment, it seems like it's spinning very smoothly. So I think, it, I don't know if the system has to get warmed up or whatever, but it looks pretty good from here. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works in code. Anyway, we have our modules up here and we've got our Hello World device and it's uh, at editable for my prop and at editable for what I call the speed factor. And then we have on begin play here and then we have a simple loop there's no break in it right now, but that'd be very easy to write that in. You could trigger it with a button or whatever you wanted. This is really the key part of this whole thing. And this function takes in a float value, which is our speed factor here. And basically this changes the way it rotates, whether it's rotating at 90 degrees or 180 degrees. And it doesn't return anything. So here, the first line of code, what we do is we reference my prop and we get there's this built-in method called get transform we click here and we click here you'll see that it's a structure and it has three fields scale rotation and translation and those correspond to these same values right here except translation is really location so we have these nine values that we can get access to and because they're in a structure, we can specify which one of these categories we want. Even though we have access to all nine of them, we don't need all nine of them. Now that I get the transform, I put it in this constant called transform prop. And then once it's in transform prop, I can go dot translation to access that field within the structure. And I can assign that to a new constant called translation prop. And I can do the same thing for rotation is go transform prop right here, dot rotation and I just get the rotation values. And this has just the position value. So we've got our rotation and our position values. Then what we do, we grab our rotation values and we can do something called apply yaw if I click on it. And you'll see that it returns a rotation and it takes in a float value that represents radians. So let's go over that real quick. So here we have pi, which is another built-in value here the value of pi, 3.14. If you divide pi by two, that's 1.57 in radians, which is roughly equivalent to 90 degrees. So then we have, what we have here is 90 degrees times one is 90 degrees. So this whole thing right here just represents 90 degrees. So if I change this value to two, this would change to 180 degrees. So this just allows us to speed up by changing this factor, we can speed up uh, rotation. So then we get that yaw value on our new, apply it to our existing rotation. And then we have a new rotation here. And then we go to move to here, which is another built-in method of the creative object. And it takes in our position, our rotation, and a value over time. So we have all those three things. So we put in our translation which is our location we put in our new rotation and then we put in point two for time which seems to be a nice value you can change this to point one and make the prop spin even faster so then we just apply all that movement to our prop and it spins around and that's the code so if we come in here you've already seen it spinning at 90 degrees so if I come in here and click on my verse device and I change this to a 2, 2.0 and save those changes, let's go and see what 180 degrees spinning around looks like. So I come in here and go start game. 
and it's a lot like I said it's quite a bit faster but it looks good it's it looks pretty smooth to me so that's fantastic so anyway take care have a great day and I'll talk to you next time